Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got the EMP EDC Nimble. Now, this knife was sent to me by Q-Ball. Q-Ball, thank you very much for letting me check this knife out. It was definitely one that, you know, just looking at, I wanted to, I wanted to check out. Um, I love frag patterns. I'm a frag pattern type of guy, and it has a frag pattern. But not only that, it also has... A really cool look to it now it's not a large knife but it's in that that nice category where or size category where you can get a full grip because of this nice choil so very comfortable in the hand and qsp is the one making these the oem and i'll tell you what man qsp killed it they knocked it out of the park. Now, the action is insane. It's so good. Um, one, you have a flipper tab that has a ton of leverage. It's square, kind of, which it, it does feel a little weird because, like, with normal flipper tabs, say, like, this one. I guess that's not a good example. Let's say like this one. It's just a regular flipper tab. You pull down and it works good. This one, it's square. So it almost feels, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You can tell that it's not pulling in. I mean, it is, but it's you're more pulling straight down. It's kind of hard to explain. If you guys have one, you guys would understand what I'm saying. But it feels good though. I mean, it's there. I'm not complaining at all. It, it's it kicks really hard. It, the detent is well tuned for the flipper tab, and it does have a little bit of grip on it. And it's not uh, overly slippery. The detent's not too strong, and it has a nice sound to it. Now, then we have the front flipper, which it's not easy to get all actions down pat on all I mean usually it's pretty hard a lot of companies find it very difficult to mix action meaning like to have a good detent for your flipper tab and a good detent for the reverse flick and a good detent for the front flipper that's very hard for companies to do but in this case they did it pretty good now the knife isn't very big so you can get that grip like that then get your finger right on the front flipper and yank back Now the jimping does ride all the way up to the top, which I do like to see because I hate it when they don't do that. <laughs> I hate it when they go up to like right here and then they leave this like slick at the top. Now the reverse flick and thumb flick also works great. Um, the hole is in a great place. You don't, it doesn't take much effort at all to reverse flick it. The detent is extremely, extremely well tuned. I can I can do it with my ring finger. I could probably do it with my pinky if I really tried. Bang. <laughs> it's super easy. Thumb flick, same thing, but it does have a little bit of a ramp right here. So, you know, you can kind of fight it. But if you get it just right where you're putting tension against, you know, the front of it, you can swing it out. You can kick it out. But the reverse flick is way better than the thumb flick. Now, the lock bar is easy to get to. They did leave you a lot of space. And it's very smooth on the drop. Now, the detent, when you unlock, it's nice and early since the flipper tab is not going to be in the way. So, not fall shut action, but I wouldn't expect this knife to be fall shut action. It's very smooth, though. One shake, you can have it all the way down. So incredibly, incredibly smooth, nice and centered. And let's get back to the ergos. The ergos are super duper comfortable. You have a lot of jimping right here. So this grip is really nice, lots of traction. And yeah, it's nice and comfortable in the grip. Now you don't have a lot of cutting length. So cutting with it, I did bring it to work. I did use it at work and it worked great. Um, oh yeah, by the way, lefties, you can use this too pretty easily. So, um, I'm not lefty, but I can easily reverse flick it. But since it doesn't have a lot of blade cutting edge, 
you know, you do have to, um, you're, you're going to get a bigger grip than you will cutting length. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, which isn't a problem. You just have to, you know, know that you're, you don't have a lot of cutting length. So you use your edge, you know, like the push cuts were really good with it. I found push cuts were really comfortable and it worked really good for that. And you know, the cutting performance was pretty decent. It's, you know, it does go through materials really nicely. And at work, when I was using it, it did, it was very useful. It worked really good. I had no issues. I didn't beat it up at work, but I did use it quite a bit on tape opening boxes. This thing works great for opening boxes. Now we're gonna get to the geometry here in one second. The utility cuts though, because of the way the handle is, how it pushes right into your palm, and it's kind of like an arrow already, like an extension to your finger, you know, where you, you know, point, it works great for utility cuts. The tip is nice and acute, yet very durable and strong. You're not going to have to worry about breaking, chipping, you know, as long as you do regular stuff with it. Obviously, you can break or chip it, but it's not something you're going to be, like, scared to do by using utility cuts or anything like that. It's going to be just fine while still cutting and working extremely, extremely well. Um, yeah, opening things up, man. This thing, it, it's so wieldable in your hand you know you can switch grips from a side cut to a top cut you know pull it around if you really had to and maybe cut a strap or a rope then go back down you know and do a little saw cut it's very you know it's easy to manipulate in the hand and i really liked that now to the geometry now technically it's 15 thousands directly behind the edge however it is the geometry is a little thick so it's not like the best geometry in the world. Now it cuts just fine. I'm not saying it doesn't cut great, but it's 15 thousandths behind the edge, but the edge angle is really high. So, and it wasn't very sharp. Um, I did strop it on um, urban edge strops. They have kangaroo leather strops and diamond compounds. You, They're out of Australia. Awesome strops. Definitely check them out. Urban edge edge straps i'll try to remember to link them down in the description but yeah not the best edge i did tune it up on the strap I, I you know i'm not sure if i'll sharpen it before it leaves or anything like that you know but you know since the angle is so high it would definitely benefit it by laying back the edge just a little bit and then in that case it probably would be like 17 18 thousands behind the edge and because the edge does get thick quick kind of you can kind of see it right here if you look right here you can see how it just you know it gets pretty thick pretty quick but that's not a big deal it cuts good it'll be just fine and you can always change the angle on your edge so the satin finish is beautiful on this thing, and it does have a couple different angled satins. Like it's got a satin running this direction on the flat. Then you see that satin finish, and then the eyeball or the hole in it is like bead blasted on the inside. It's really good looking, man. It's an attractive knife. And there are other versions. Like I've seen people with Timascus clips and Timascus, I think pivots too. I'm not positive about that. The clip. The clip does work great in and out of the pocket. Very smooth, easy to do one-handed. Um, and it doesn't sit like crazy deep, but it sits deep enough for me. I, I thought it worked great. Fantastic clip. It definitely works. You don't have to worry about chewing up your pockets or anything like that, which is nice because I'm sick of clips that chew up my pockets. It is numbered 139. And it does come in a really cool box with a card and everything else, which is really nice. So I like to see that, you know, good packaging is always nice to see. Now, um, another thing, you know, I forgot to mention, you know, when you pull down on the slipper tab, you have a very nice landing zone. I didn't mean to do that, but you have a very nice landing zone right here. So when you yank down, it is a nice, comfortable flip. Even though, you know, it feels unique because it's, you know, feels like a square right here. It's still very comfortable when you do deploy it. Now, some negative things. T6s. Why are we using T6s on a knife like this? Why? I can't, I can't imagine why you would make a titanium frame lock knife 
of this price, this value, this nice, and then say, ah, eh, put some T6s down there. What? Just put some T8s, guys. T8s. It's that e It's so simple. T8s. I can't imagine it's that much harder to do. You know, people want to maintain their knives and not have to worry about stripping out the screws. T6s strip out very easily, especially if you wanted to really keep this thing and maintain it. You know, you might open, you know, take it apart and put it back together a few times, you know, within a year or two. I mean, it just depends how much you take apart your knives and how dirty they get. But I'm just saying, you know, at least I, I want to know I can, at least, the very least, even if I never take it apart. I want to know I'm not going to strip out a screw if I do. Next thing, like I was saying, the edge wasn't very sharp, um, not the sharpest edge, and it went dull very quick. Yes, I did use it. Yes, I was using it at work. Um, I don't, I don't think I used it to the point to where it should be this dull. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, the edge retention didn't last very long. I don't. That could be a burnt edge. It could be just that it didn't have a sharp edge to begin with. It could be a lot of different factors, but sharpening it up that's not a big deal so technically that's like the worst or like the best thing best case scenario now i'm not saying you do want a sharp knife to show up i'm just saying that that's something you can always sharpen but yes when you order a knife you do expect it to be sharp especially for this price now next thing and this isn't really that big of a deal but the clip is going to scratch up at least this one, there's other clips, you know, so I'm not saying your clip is going to scratch up because you could have a different one, but this one's definitely going to get scratched up. You can see already right there, it's got a little scuff. Um, I believe it came like that. I don't think I did that, but you know, it, just, it is what it is. It's polished anno. Polished anno is going to scratch and you can always get it re-anodized. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I'm nitpicking, guys. I'm nitpicking. Next thing, the geometry is a little thick. Um, it's not that big of a deal because it does cut good, and you can always lay your edge back. It's just fine. It does have a pretty tall flat grind, which benefits this the cutting performance. The Ergos, even though it is a small knife, you have such a good grip. That benefits the cutting performance. Next is the tall flat grind. Benefits the cutting performance. However, it does get thick pretty quick you see how thick the blade stock is for a small knife like this i mean come on guys you guys use t6s down here and then you got a thick grind like this what are we talking about <laughs> i'm joking guys i'm joking the grind is fine it is a, a, you know it, it's not the thinnest grind it's not crazy thick i'm just joking um you know I'm just saying, you know, T6s is more lighter weight, lighter use, you know. But uh, but no, all in all, man, this thing's amazing. It is a great knife. Stupid smooth. Very, very fidgety. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Back here, you're not going to get a good grip. I don't think anybody will hold this knife like this. You're going to want to hold it like this. Um, And, you know, there's so many great things about this knife. This knife is awesome. It's definitely worth, you know, worth getting. If you have one ordered or pre-ordered or you already have one or if you're going to, you know, get in on the second run or whatever, it's well worth it. It's a great knife. Very, very well done. I am impressed. Very fidgety, very fidget friendly, cuts good, carries great. The fit and finish and build quality is amazing. Lock bar insert, over travel stops, so you're not going to unspring the lock. It does have a internal stop pin, so that's going to help with side to side play and help keep it locked up nice and strong. So there's a lot of great features about this. Lots of milling on the inside to bring down the weight. It's not heavy. Um, I mean, I, I can feel it, but it's not uh, it's not overly heavy or anything. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So there you guys go. Cue ball. Thanks for letting me check this out. I love you guys. Peace.